Hi guys, this is Kalera Hudson of Walde Play Designs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the 1 over 2 LC. And if you take a look at this swatch here, the 1 over 2 LC is this cable right here. It's a three stitch cable where the first stitch crosses over the left side and the front of the last two stitches. So I'm going to show you how to do that cable with a cable needle or a DPN in the same size as your working needles. And I'm also going to show you how to do it without a cable needle. That's just going to help you go a lot quicker throughout your pattern, especially if you have a lot of 1 over 2 LCs in your particular pattern. So if you look at my work here, you can see I'm ready to place my cable. And I have three stitches here on my left hand needle. And as I said before, the first of those three stitches is going to be held in the front by use of a cable needle, and it'll cross over the front and to the left of these second two stitches, or second and third stitches. So instead of using our cable needle to slip off that first stitch and hold to the front, that would probably end up with a slipped stitch or your cable needle would fall out. So we're actually going to slip that first stitch with our right hand needle, purl wise. And then we're gonna use our cable needle to slip the second and third stitches. And we're gonna hold those stitches to the back of our work. Now, we can take that first stitch that we slipped, place it purl wise back onto our left hand needle. And then we can grab the first two stitches that are on the cable needle and place those back onto our left hand working needle. And if you can see what I just did, all my stitches just popped off of my needle, which is bad, <laughs> which is another reason I don't recommend using a cable needle for this. But at any rate, we did retrieve our stitches and you can see I did cross over that first stitch over the second and third stitches. And now that we're done with our cable needle, we just simply go in and knit these three stitches in their new orientation. And that is our 1 over 2 LC. Now I want to show you that without using the cable needle because you see how awesome that was to try and do. Okay, so if you look at my work here, there's our three stitches where we're going to place our cable needle or our cable. And instead of using the cable needle, remember we want the first stitch to cross over the front of these two. So the way I'm gonna do that without a cable needle is to grab these two stitches in the back. Remember I slipped those to the cable needle before. I'm simply gonna use my right hand needle, the tip of it, to go in purl wise through the second and then the third, just like so. So I'm holding those, those second and third stitches with my right hand needle. And now I'm going to pull everything off the left hand needle and hurry up and scoop up the first stitch with my left hand needle. So I'll show you that. First, I'm gonna pinch that first needle so it doesn't go anywhere, that first stitch. Now I'm gonna pull the needle out and scoop up that first stitch that I have pinched, okay? And then I'm gonna swing back around and take the, the two stitches that I grabbed first, and I'm gonna place those back on the left-hand needle. And if you look, I've created that same right-leaning cable, one over two, and now I can knit those stitches in their new orientation. One, two, three. So I've created the same exact needle, uh, same exact cable, without the use of the cable needle. And I'm gonna show that to you one more time. So here's where I'm gonna place my cable. And again, I'm gonna go in and insert my right hand needle purl wise through the second and third stitches. Then I'm going to pinch and grab the first stitch. And while I'm holding it, I'm gonna pull out my left hand needle from all the stitches, there it is, all the stitches are gone, the three, and then scoop up that first stitch. Now rotate back around and pick up purl wise the first two stitches that I slipped. One, 
too. Just wanted to slow that down for you guys so you can see it a little better. So those are my three stitches that I've turned into a one over two LC. And now I'll knit them. Okay. So that's how you create a one over two LC with a cable needle and without. I hope this technique helps you guys. Thanks so much for watching.